Hello everyone, welcome back to Ray Koku Part 2. This is actually still the same session as last time. I really wanted to just clearly go over the whole entire initial mansion. Just to get a good layout for the game, but it was getting kind of long, so I don't want to do it all in one playthrough. So let us continue. And we start with the locked door. Great playthrough. 10 out of 10. Alright. Next door. So episode 2 will be about 5 minutes because all the doors are locked. <laughs> okay, I should have just continued this. Wow. Exciting. <laughs> there we go. Oh, fireplace. That is lit. It's not. It's not ominous. Okay. This place this is actually pretty big. There's a bookcase. This game has really boring descriptions of mundane stuff. Is that thing going through the fire? Yeah. That thing looks like it's glitching. Yeah, that's a fire poker. And it's like bigger than the chimney. That's normal. There's a fire. <gasps> Would you like the poker? Oh fuck yes, I want the poker that's bigger than like the fi the chimney. I could do so much damage to a ghost with no wait no I can't because they're ghosts. Never mind. <laughs> uh... This seems weird. If I look at it closely... Translation done. It seems like a musical instrument? Okay. Interesting. Is there anything I can do with it? Picture? Salt shaker? This is the weirdest inventory. Can I use the lipstick on it? No. Can I crucify it? No. What would I use a cross for, my character wonders? And I wonder the same question. Oh, wait, what? Ah. Oh, what? Alright, what does this one say? There's just no meaning to using this here. Okay. Walk, 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 walk. Books! There's books on this chair. That's cool. Can I fix that? No. Ooh, chemicals. Alright, these chemicals seem very out of place. Especially that one, which has a Jewish star on it. Alright. I don't know, I don't want to know what that's supposed to be, but... We databased it? Okay. Huh? Oh, I was clicking too fast. Would you like to continue reading? Oh, no, I don't want to continue reading. Why did I fall into that trap? So much more stuff to translate now, with terrible tiny fonts. It was a terrible incident, apparently. I will find out later when Future Self goes over it. Future Self, how was that? Did I cry? <laughs> I can go outside. Ah, it's a balcony, huh? Ah, there was some, there was some light over there. Look at that little sperm in the distance. Pew, pew. Oh, they're gathering. Some ghosts are having some fun up there. Well, that's cool. That's nice of them. Well, not really, but the light show at least. Huh. Were those people's souls? Alright. Was this, maybe there's a grave nearby. Wow. Okay, he had a much different reaction to that than I did. Okay. Huh. Okay. So I'm not sure where to go next. I'm going to walk around for a minute and then report back if anything happens. Unless something just happens to happen when I walk down these stairs. Oh, okay. 
Alright, stairs are loading screens, and it just freezes whenever it tries to load. Oh, it's a guy's ass. Oh no! His ass betrayed him. He, f he fell off these stairs? Oh god, I have a choice. Uh... Uh, okay, it looks like I'm giving the choice on whether or not I think it's a warning, a premonition, or my imagination. Well, I don't think it's any of those. I thought it was, like, a ghost. Like, we just, like, saw a ghost presence. It's a warning. Uh, it must have been someone's warning. Who the hell said it? Ah. Uh. Database! Alright, I'm not gonna do that every time we go to database, except I totally am. Oh man, I might have to actually go back later and do some other options. Alright. What happens if I go back to this front door? Tell me your secret's front door. I really wish I could move faster. That's how you get the phone to ring. Okay, I tried to touch the door and then the phone went ringing and I didn't know where the- I know where the phone is now! It's upstairs in that one room. Alright. Quick fast forward while I walk up the stairs to this phone, because this is going to take a second. Where is the phone? <laughs> and why haven't they hung up yet? Oh, there it is. Mosh, mosh! There is a voice! Of a girl! Ah, <laughs> uh, has anything seemed weird in your memories? Going to translate that. Do you have anything locked away in your memories? So it's like the word for to seal. So you know, uh, if you ever had, have you ever had anything sealed away in your memories, as if you would know because they're sealed away. It's your memories. You know what, screw it, I'm gonna be the skeptical and be like, How did you know I do? I don't like this. <laughs> well, that's gonna make things easy. Uh, well then, uh, I want to stop your memories. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to retranslate that. Do it. Soon you'll be... I hope we can meet soon. No, actually, don't. I got it. I'm going to access your memories. Give me a second. Oh, you're a safe point. Oh, pfft. I thought this was going to be like intense or something, and you're like, no, I'm just going to save your face. Okay, so you talk to the front door, and they call you on the telephone in another room, and then some girl comes and asks to save your memory. Like, your literal memory. Oh, okay. So it looks like I can just go to this door now to save. Whoops. Fuck! <laughs> so that wasn't saving. I was clicking too fast. That was completing the game. So I just finished the game. Uh, but I finished it very incompletely. So it didn't. So it's just like you had a 33% success on the game. Which, which is, what's up? Huh. Oh. But I mean, there's still like way more of the game to do. Yeah. So. All right. Well, I incidentally screwed up my save file and didn't even load, didn't even save because I messed up on the dialogue and pushed the wrong button. So it looks like I'm rerunning everything. So that's probably good for episode two. If not, I'll stick more content on. But yeah, I will see you guys next time.
Okay, so I got some holy water. That's cool. There's just... I'm glad I know how to identify holy water. This is just like a plastic bottle with a sticky note that just said the holy water written on it. I'll take it. Okay, that's slightly creepier than last time when I played the CD. I actually clicked on the tape player and there was a... <laughs> Someone has weird mixtapes. You got a cassette tape! That was a really good sound effect. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well I still need to play the CD. Huh. That's where I play videos. Are you a CD player? You're a CD player. Play that CD. The lopsided CD. <laughs> Stop turning off my music! It's my jam!